Hello, buzzer cut. My name is Hotsosti, and welcome back to Factorio, where we are crafting the last of the uh, chemical science packs, so we can actually uh, do this last research or the uh, next research for the electric uh, uh, smelting, uh, because today we want to turn our focus on a production facility that revolves around mm, rails and here you can see what we have in there and you will notice the locomotive is missing and that's intentional because we soon want to switch to electric locomotives which is an additional mod here um, and that requires quite a few input materials that are not used for any of the other stuff so having these locomotives uh, uh, in here it would complicate things a bit so i think we will have a separate production for locomotives and from the input you can see uh we also need stone and currently we don't have a stone mine um, or a stone field set up and hooked up to our rail network and this is basically the first thing I will do and uh, I have my eye on this one this is pretty close to the existing rail network so we just add one square here and have that hooked up and then we can see uh, how and where we actually want to build this factory for the rails the stone field is taken care of even though the uh, input or the, the drive into the waiting area is a bit wiggly. Uh, that's just due to uh, space constraints and uh, that we want to come off the inner line here. Uh, and this is just too tight for having the curve there but works out in the end so we have to be be careful with this pollution here but i would expect once these chests are full um, we won't have that much pollution up here anyway because we have green grass we have trees surrounding this area so now we can figure out where to put the actual um, factory for the rails and I think uh, we will do this down here where there are not so many trees and stones just a few cliffs that we can get rid of pretty easily so I will clear out this square uh, place down the uh, the, the train stations for stone, copper and iron and probably also the smelting for uh, iron, steel and copper. Um, if we look at this uh, we need way more iron than we need copper. Uh, copper we only need for the green circuits. Uh, which I would expect is not really that high of demand so probably uh, one one furnace there would be sufficient and then that would mean probably uh, a full stack uh, of, of furnaces um, for the for the iron and then maybe one for the steel but let me build this initial part up and uh, then we can figure out how to add all the rest to the mix there 
the initial setup is done here we have the stations to deliver the iron ore the copper ore and down here even the stone where the first train just arrived we also have here a new smelting array using electric furnaces and uh, i'm using here the uh, underground belt mechanic that basically allows me to put in the ore here through the uh, red uh, undergrounds and then pull out the smelted iron here through the yellow ones um, of course this is limited by by the throughput of the of the yellow belt but we should be okay then down here we have one uh, smelter for steel up here it goes to uh, our green circuit production where we can hang uh, hook up the copper as well and here we just have four furnaces for copper uh, because we don't need that much copper only for the green circuits so uh, let's see what else we need um, we have we need some sticks uh, we need some gears um, we need some some pipes uh, so that's basically all uh, iron and we need double the amount of gears then we need pipes or uh, or sticks so let's see about that um, actually we if we uh, have this that way um, Let's make pipes and uh, sticks. Uh, we can put those on the on the same on the same belt. Um, and pick that up here. And we can have gears like so and then we need a bit of power as I do have quite a bit of uh, of the uh, of wood I, I tend to use small poles that works and that should be all the uh, ingredients that that we need have we missed something Then, ooh, yeah, uh, we need one splitter here because for the um, for the uh, power setup, we need a bit of uh, of steel. So let's see about that. Uh, we want to have chests. We want to have um, the small power poles. And 
and the large ones. So, input, input, input. And then long handed, long handed. We need copper. We can bring that about on the other side. Do it like that. Chest, chest, chest. Uh, I think here one stack, here two stacks, here two stacks. Just a bit slow because uh, we are not producing too much steel there um, but I'm not that worried about that should be should be okay then uh, let's just remove the things that we have covered so far Signals require the green stuff as well as iron. Let's bring that up here and have these signals there and and also have this because that's all that needs uh, the, uh, the green circuits. And chest to chest. Okay, here we also need um, sticks and steel. So let's do it this way. Split this off. here and here we will just steal it here from the top and we need also here on this side Chests. Uh, for the stations, one stack will be sufficient. And eventually, steel will come around. So, we have done that, that, and that. So, all that remains is um, uh, 
I can build those here. Which means we should be able to build those there. Let's use a long one. And then and we also want the gears here. Gears probably also need to go further. So we also will have a few tanks here on the side because they do come in handy from time to time. Ooh, and we need Deal. here as well so splitter maybe let's do it that way have a large pole there and we can remove this and that and then we only have the normal wagon Up there two stacks well one stack sufficient and Steel will come. And now, steel, stone, and sticks. Let's bring the sticks down here. Down here, we can bring that up, no problem. Let's bring it up to here, that will make things easier. And I think for the rails, we want to have a full chest, and well, maybe. We will just have two more furnaces there. All out. Oh, we need one there. Eventually, this will balance out because everything runs full. But should work. It's probably not perfectly uh, balanced, uh, but this is like this setup here. Uh, just something where whenever we run out of uh, materials, we can come around and uh, 
fill our belly up uh, and be done with it and this is a uh, just an easy way to get things that you need without waiting for it to be uh, to be crafted and as we uh, most of the time are on some project these things just get uh, get uh, created built somewhere in the back and uh, whenever you need it you should be able to to just just grab it so there I actually want these and now you can see we we have a bit more steel coming through um let's make sure yeah and our first uh rails are coming in and probably i should fetch the rails from uh, up there uh because uh i don't need to overproduce rails um and uh, we can just have that going so probably until all the uh, all the uh, assembly machines are producing the materials that they are uh, intended to do that will take a while uh, so let's just jump to that point in time where that's happening in the meantime we are in stocking up on steel here on the band and i can actually go about um and fully uh, equip myself uh, with one stack of each of these things yeah and i mean the signals should not be a problem there uh, but basically everything else could be yep and we have everything oh yeah let's also grab a stack of uh, these uh, not that i need 50 tanks in a rush but it's good to have it and uh, it does not take more space in the inventory if it's four or 50 so let's have 50. Uh, but that's all for today folks uh, i am for once not telling you what we'll do next time just a hint it's something we have done already uh, but if you're curious you have to tune in next time goodbye